Kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. I hope you're having an awesome day or you will have an awesome day. Kind of took the morning off. I'm trying to recuperate from the snake bite. No, it's not really a snake bite or a shark bite. I was messing with another machine. I didn't have a blade on it. I tried to start at the plastic handle ripped out of my hand and it took a a nice round landing on my hand this thing swelled up i couldn't believe how much it swelled up in a matter of minutes i grabbed a nice pack and and tried to get the swelling down this is the after effect so swelling's gone down but you can see you can see knuckles here. Knuckles are buried on my left hand. So I'm nursing this thing back to life. If I had my safety shirt on from my viewers in Spain, Kristen and Jose, this never would have happened. If I had my safety shirt on i would have been more conscientious so what we have here is a 20 2009 toro this thing came in without wheels i believe i got it from a scrapper i think we did an initial video on this i had the front wheels blocked and we tried to start it i think it kicked off i forget but today is the toro day i'm working on this one and then i have this other Turo smart stow. They're both smart stows. This one here I've been through already, but we discovered it needed wheel bearings, so I've got it propped up with my floor jack, aka 4x4. And we'll disassemble this one after. But right now, let's look over this thing. I took the carb off, cleaned the carb out, crappy bowl. I got the recoil off. I was going to ask you guys about this. I've already oiled up the spring. And we had looked at the um, engine number on this, but it had black spray paint. I took some old gas and wiped the spray paint off of the number. I didn't do that. Somebody else must have. So have you ever seen a quantum where they put a, um, a foil sticker over the engraved number. This must have been in mid-production or something. Unfortunately, my gas took off the two numbers there, but I ran the numbers what I had, and uh, it only comes back as one engine. The 124 Tango 02 is what I wiped off. 0203 Bravo 1. It's 09, fifth month, first day of 2009. And we're going to need a traction control cable for this machine. It came in with a broken cable. That number 119 2379. I think I've got three or four of these in stock. So we're dealing with a 20339 Turo Smart Stow. 2009 so that's that so i still gotta spray paint the recoil i've already uh, degreased this machine let it sit in the sun and i just painted the case so i'm going to put it all back together again and uh, get some wheels for it it came no wheels and no axles so i gotta scrounge some up which i don't think it'll be a problem i took in a couple of these turret recyclers last summer with rotten decks like halfway around with the engine wobbling so i can steal some used wheels maybe another um, dirt guard i ended up cracking this when i was moving around the yard let the front end down and it cracked my dust guard so this was all filled up with snot i took the cover off cleaned that up 
washed it down, like I said. Let me show you the 20339 uh, right there. If you wanted to know, the serial is 31607724. Um, made and assembled a country of origin, it says, Mexico. So I think this thing is going to clean up. I only have a few, a few self-propelled in stock, so I want to get both of these Turos up and running. Um, what else is happening? Still dealing with the guy in Bradenton who has um, a Turo he wants me to fix. I told him I'd exchange one of his Turos or take in another Turo for barter, so I still got to see him. Somebody's supposed to bring me a machine today. Guy said he's bought two from me before. So I got to figure out who he is and what, what he wants fixed. So that's going to be another video I can do. So this one came in with both both of the um, hold down broken. So I'll see if I can try to use some big washers, maybe try to attach this again or look for another cover on the 725. Guaranteed to start GTS 190 CC. Like I said, I went through the carb. There was some dragging on the throttle we've experienced that before recently so i took it took the um stem off kind of softened up the plastic stem with a little bit of sandpaper to make it move and then put some oil on it so that was that was dragging so i think they should go back together well then I'll kick over to the other Turo and do the wheel bearings. I think I've already been through the carb on this thing. Or maybe not. I think it started actually. That's a 2017 on the, um, the other smart stow. Okay, kids and cadets, that's all I got for you. Thought I'd give you a brief update what's happening today trying to trying to take it easy with this thing i know it's the older you get you bruise like the dickens that's quite the um bruise there i can just tell everybody it was a snake bite because it kind of looks like a snake bite anywho safety first even in construction, you got to pay attention to what you're doing or you're going to get bit. Let me give you the traction control number again. If you got one of these 2009s in this model range, I think it starts at 20. 330 and it goes higher there's like um 10 models that takes this 1192379 which is the one like this that um is held on with an 11 millimeter nut your safety's on top traction control at the bottom so you remove the bolt all the way slide the broken cable out, fish the new cable in, and then um, adjust your tension here for the engagement up or down, then lock it back down. Anyway, so I got a lot to put back together. Let me get busy looks like the paint's pretty dry I ended up painting the top of the muffler because there was some surface rust there I didn't paint the front side did the head bolts they all seem to be tight I may have done that 
on the first video. I didn't find any that was loose, so I may have doubled up on the job. You guys have a good day today. Let me um, produce some results here. I can still move it, but I know it's there. It's telling me. It's telling me I screwed up. In a big way. Tip your waitress and wait staff. Adios, amigos. Don't forget to tip them folks. They do a great job. They depend on your generosity. Tip them. See you.